I don't know if we're going to be able to even get this interview in. Everybody wants to keep stopping by saying, hi, Rosie, 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 <laughs> including Robin over there. This is my interview, Robin. Let me have this one. Got oh. Rosie Perez in the building. Of course, the Oscar-nominated actress. You know her from classics like Do the Right Thing and White Men Can't Jump. Now she's in that hit show, Flight Attendant. Got a new Apple TV Plus show now and then. It is so good to have you in Studio Rosie Perez, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Um, how has everything been going since, how, are you okay with your guys, uh, Woody uh, uh, and Wesley, from the Oscars? Now, we, we remember that moment, you all on stage together, the reunion, but I heard you were a little upset with them. They, they were supposed to give you some help with your dress that they, they kind of blew it. They were supposed to fluff it. To fluff the And train. drop it. Yes. That we rehearsed it over and over. When it came time, they carried it all the way through. Uh -huh. And I didn't realize it till <laughs> afterwards. And I was like, you guys, that, you won job. You won job. <laughs> and they messed it up. And, but it was all in fun. We love each other. It was great. Um, what you have now, so much going on, but the show you're playing, you, you have on Apple TV Plus now, you, you play yourself in 20 years apart, right? Yes. How, how did you go about doing that? You playing yourself 20 years different. How, <laughs> uh -oh. God bless the hair and makeup department. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Um, but um, it, was, it was a challenge that I was up for. At first, I thought the director, Gideon Raff, was crazy. And he says, no, I think you could pull it off. And it was a great acting challenge. I mean, I got to play older, I got to play younger, and, and it, there's so much involved in that in your physicality. It's not just your appearance, it's your mindset, it's everything. Your emotional responses yeah. and, and everything, and I loved it. This was a very, very challenging role. It was a very dark and heavy role, very different from Flight Attendant, and mm. I loved it. And mm. the cast is wonderful. We have a clip of it. We want to show folks, and I'll ask you about it on the other side. You know you want to get it right, okay? It's good to be thorough, but come on, there's such a thing as tact. Yes, I'm very well aware of that, thank you. And I could use a tad less of a condescending tone, please. I'm just saying, it's surprising that they all remembered the exact time when Alejandro left. It just seems like they all agreed upon the same story as all I'm saying. Now, you just said something. You said you didn't think you could pull it off playing your tw uh, the, uh, a 20 year younger version. What was the, you said, there's a physical is one thing. What was it about getting back, I guess, 20 years younger? What, what was about the mindset that was so challenging? Well, you know, you have a certain maturity that you come into when you get older, mm -hmm. and you have to remember that immaturity and that insecurity mm -hmm. that you had when you were younger, and trying to fall into that, and having a woman who was so determined, yet scared and terrified of becoming a, you know, a junior uh, homicide detective. It's mm -hmm. the first homicide case. And she also has a backstory where something horrible happened to her brother, and that's why she entered the police force. So I had to carry all that. A mature woman would deal with that differently. A younger woman would not handle it as well. All right. Yeah. Um, now, I was joking about everybody wanting to say hello to you. And Robin came over, and she was just talking about flight attendant, right? Yeah. You're starring in that show. Do I have it right? You said you didn't want to take on the role because you don't like flying. Now, are you have a fear of flying or you don't like the headaches that come with air travel? Which is it? Or both? All the above. Really? All the above. I hate, like, packing, getting into a car, in traffic, <laughs> then going to the airport, standing on this line, standing on that line, getting checked. I always get patted down. I don't know why. <laughs> and, you know, it, it, it's just horrible. And then once I get on the plane, I'm praying that there's no engine trouble. If there's, like, turbulence, I'm the only one screaming. You know, <laughs> it's just horrible. And then customs, I go, oh, here we go again. So I hate the whole thing. And that was really a reason you almost said, nah, I don't want to be in flight attendant. Yes. And um, when I got the offer for now and then, I called up Kaylee. She was my first call. And I go, I, I hate you. You started <laughs> these. You started these. And now I have to go to Spain and Miami and all this stuff. And, and she just couldn't stop laughing. And I said, but you know what, Kaylee, thank you so much. Mm. It was a great opportunity. Flight attendant is just an amazing show. And I'm so grateful. Well, you've done a lot, and people know you from a lot of things, like classics, essentially. But what is the reaction you're getting from people to flight attendant that's maybe different from what you're used to in your career? Because people love this show. The reaction that I'm getting that is different is, is really from men and women who are dealing with menopause or have dealt with someone who has menopause oh. or, and, um, and just, and then also a lot of men and women who are dealing with not being seen, who mm. feel invisible at any age. Wow. And that's the response, that's the strongest response that I'm getting and that's such a great compliment. 
And um, and when I go on a plane now, it's fabulous. I get the greatest attention. <laughs> <laughs> when you when they do get you on a plane, uh, you still don't like when flying. they get me on the plane, yes. But I think that's a really <laughs> nice thing that people are responding to Megan in that way. Wow. You know what I mean? And I really wanted that for her when I talked to the executive producers. I said, what if the storyline underneath was about her insecurities about getting older? Wow. Oh, it is so good to see you. Look, I haven't seen you in a while. We go back many, many years, and it's so good to see you in studio today. Oh, thank you. Sweet. I love you. Okay, You're wonderful. Robbie, you can come get your hug now. But now and then <laughs> premieres this Friday on Apple TV Plus. Coming up here, he, Robin is actually on the way. We got three chefs coming up who are whipping up their own <laughs> delicious spin on the dumpling. Go ahead, Robin. Go ahead. Now and then. You can go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, love it. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. Oh. Blessings. Oh. Hug. I love you. Oh. Why'd you let me do it? <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.